up YouTube, it's your girl Shani and I am back and as you can see in the title, I am prepared for my sofa came to LA and this is pretty much going to be like a get ready with me vlog, um, there's going to be hair getting done, there's going to be nails, there's going to be toes, there's going to be my eyebrows, I'm pretty much just preparing and packing for my trip to LA. Today is November, oh, today is November 9th. I leave in five days, okay? So we have five days to get myself together, to get myself in order, and we are starting today on Tuesday, November 9th. First of all, I just got out the shower, as you guys can see, I'm in my robe. Um, I'm doing like some little self-care things at the moment. So um, you guys know I have two kids, so if y'all hear them in the background, that's what's going on. They're pretty much playing. It's only nine something in the morning. Got up early with it. Um, the kids have already eaten breakfast and stuff. I haven't eaten yet. I want to get myself together and like I said start preparing for this trip. So I already started packing but today is going to be like a wind down day. I'm about to do a facial. I want to do a mask today. I want to soak off these nails. Y'all look at these nails. Okay, they're already falling off but I have planned on redoing them. For the trip anyway so i'm going to soak my nails off today i'm going to soak the gel polish off my toes today and then tomorrow wednesday is my hair appointment my girls also get their hair braided as well come back thursday and that's when i'm going to do my nails and toes and then friday i'm going to leave to go um to my hometown i'm going to be there until it's time for me to leave early at three o'clock sunday morning to the airport so Pretty much have a schedule. We got to stay on a schedule. I can't mess it up. I don't want to leave and forget something or be going crazy in my head while I'm on the plane. Like, did I forget this? Did I forget that? I want to make sure everything is completely taken care of before we get to it. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. I haven't washed my face yet. And I'm really about to do a face mask today. I have restocked up on some more... Um, Indian healing clay because that's like the best mask for my face, but I haven't been using it for like the last three months. So my face is going crazy right now, as you can see. My face is going crazy, okay? So I really want to go ahead and get my face together. If I do a face mask today, I'll probably be able to do another one um, Saturday before the flight. Like I said, I leave early Sunday morning. So I think that's the plan. The plan is to go ahead and do another mask on Saturday. But um, I got some Amazon packages yesterday with some of the stuff in it that I bought to go into my suitcase as well as some stuff that I needed um, today. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I opened it already. I think I opened it already, but I'm about to show y'all what I got. So come on. Okay, so here's the stuff I ordered from Amazon. Like I said, I had got more of the... Aztec Indian Healing Clay. So that's the first thing. I absolutely need this. I'm also going to take a little bit of this on my trip. And I use it with apple cider vinegar. Stop. Why are you touch stuff? Okay, here. The next thing I got was this mask kit. It's just like a mixing bowl. Okay. They're popping uh, bubble wrap. So it's a mixing bowl. It's a couple of those little containers. It has like the spatulas. It has this little spray bottle and it has like little measuring spoons so that's what i'm going to be using hey no fighting over the bubble wrap so that's what i'm going to be using um for my mask and i also got my favorite deodorant this is my favorite deodorant the mitchum for women i have so many trouble trying to find this deodorant in stores for some reason i can only find the gel version and i hate the gel version i actually like the stick so, I have to always order my deodorant online. And I was running out of this. So I went on and got more of the deodorant. Um, I got some more toner. The Thayer's Facial Toner. This is the Witch Hazel in the Scent Rose Petal. And then I wanted to try this new brand for my skincare. So, I was seeing some people rave about this on TikTok. So, this is called Panox, I believe. The Acne Foaming Wash. And the, it had over 20,000 some views and 4.8 stars. So it's meant for me to go ahead and get this a try. This is a pretty big bottle. So I hope it lasts me for a while. But um, yes, I, like I said, I was, I was seeing people rave about it on TikTok and I bought it. I really hope this helps with me because Lord, my acne likes to act up and 
um, no, we don't need that happening. Um, so, so another thing I purchased, which I already opened yesterday, was this different acne treatment gel. Now, I was kind of thrown off for the fact that this box is so freaking huge, yet the tube of the product is so small y'all and it's in my bathroom right now i used it last night before i went to bed but i'm going to show y'all how big this box is compared to that small tube that came in here but um i was seeing people talk about this as well so i went ahead and got it this is what i will use on my acne right after i cleanse my face and before i go to bed um sometimes i like to use it during the day too but for the most part i use it before bed so I also have picked up a couple things from Walgreens. I picked up a bar of White Dove soap because we all know this is the best soap to use. Um, it has no strong fragrance or anything. Um, it's damn near perfume, I would say. And then I picked up this 3-in-1 travel kit from Walgreens. It has a toothpaste, a mini bottle of mouthwash, and a toothbrush. So that is everything I picked up from Amazon and Walgreens. I'm going to be packing most of the stuff up in my bag once I am finished with it. But of course, like the skincare part is going to stay out until it's time to actually leave and go out of town. So I also ordered one more thing from Amazon, which I haven't opened yet. And I believe these are my uh, hair accessories for when I get my hair. Um, is it? It's not braided. It's um. I'm getting butterfly locks, I believe. So this is the gold accessories I wanted in my hair. So let me go ahead and open that up really quick. Let's see. So it came like a whole kit. So if I get this style again, I'm gonna have enough to go ahead and put some of these in there again. But look at how cute all the accessories is in there. Like you got some with some like little crosses. Maybe I should take the plastic off so y'all can see better. But this is an entire kit and like if some go missing from my hair, I'll be able to put them back in. But there you can see some of the accessories. Like it has a little cross. It has like a little leaf. It has like this cute little thing right there. These are so cute. And then it has your traditional little pieces. But like I said, this is an entire kit. So I think I might I might bring this with me on the trip so that just in case some of mine fall out, I have these to put back in. But I'm going to put them on the screen so you can see um, exactly which ones are in here. But these are so cool and I only think I paid no more than $10 for these. So I'll be taking those to my hair appointment with me tomorrow. But um, for now, let's go ahead and take out all my skincare stuff I'm about to go ahead and use right now because like I said, just got the shower. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me take my deodorant too. I haven't put deodorant on yet, so. Okay, let's go. Okay. I get it. I just dropped some of my stuff on the floor. Got it? Thank you. You dropped it. The cat. Up the cap off of this and this is the thing you're supposed to use to pop it up and yeah so dang so now if i take the barrier off under there it's going to be wide open and it can leak uh okay so i'm going to have to break this down into a smaller bottle because i can't take this bottle now because i just broke the cap there's that okay Okay, y'all, so like I said, this is the box and this is the container. Look how freaking small. Okay, why Like, why do y'all companies do this? This is so much packaging for such a small container. That was not needed at all. That is so freaking small. But I was seeing people talk about this too, and it better be good. It better be good. That's how I look at it. Like I said, I used it for the first time last night, and, um, you know, I don't see a major difference in how, how big my uh, acne or my pimples is looking right now, but this is my first time using it, so I can't say anything. But this is another thing I picked up from Walgreens is some more penny liners. I love using penny liners, so I made sure I stocked up on those before, um, before leaving to go on the trip. And like I said, favorite deodorant. And the crazy thing about this, I actually have a whole new bottle or a whole new um, stick of deodorant right here. But the twisty thing 
doesn't work. And I ordered it off of Amazon and I can't use it. The twisty thing does not work and it does not come up. So I was so upset about that. Cause this is my favorite deodorant and I can't even use that. So I had to buy a whole new one. Okay, so now I'm about to go ahead and start washing my face. This is the clean. <laughs> this is the cleanser. So I'll wait for this mask to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and go into some small business promo, you guys. So I got some of packages to do a second small business promo video. If you haven't seen that first one, it is up. I'll link it in the bio. I filmed this haul three times, and I don't know like if it's my camera, or my memory card. I'm not sure what's going on, but I keep having trouble every time filming this haul. So I have the packages and. They are already open. I've already opened all the packages that were sent to me because, like I said, I kept filming it. So, what I'm going to do is every video I do from here, I'm just going to include like three or four businesses at a time to talk about so that you guys still get video time that you guys sent your packages for. I don't want it to go completely to waste. So, the first package is from... I can't even see. It's good. But she sent some stuff, okay? So... First package is from Angela Addy. And there is her business card. I hope you guys can see that. And once again, <laughs> that's just like we're opening it for the first time. I'm going to show y'all what's all in here. The first pair of lashes she sent me was in the style Sitting Pretty. And that is what that looks like. Please excuse my nails, y'all. I told y'all I'm taking care of it. But pretty packaging. Sitting pretty is so cute. So freaking good. Everything is branded. Y'all know how I am when it comes to branding your products. Making sure your logo is on all of your stuff. So she sent me an eyebrow pencil. And even the pencil is branded. Gone girl. Y'all can see that. I'm actually probably going to take that on my trip with me girl. So be ready for your shout out. So I'm going to take that with me. And this is the lip liner. In that pretty shade. So, it looks so good. Pretty lip liner. Love dark lip liner. With a pink gloss, of course. Sent me a matte liquid lipstick. Again, the box is branded. Oh, I really feel like y'all heard me in my last video when it comes to branding your things. Like, I really feel like y'all heard me. And she actually sent a package in my last video. So, this is her second time sending the package because she was like, girl, put me on your channel again, honey. And... That is what the liquid lipstick looks like. It is like a dark cranberry color. And it is in the shade Sugar Plum. Ooh, my hands is ashy from the mask. Oh, Lord. And it smells like... <sighs> I can't put my finger on it, but it's like a sweet smell. A really sweet smell. This was the, uh, the lip balm. Yes. So this is the lip balm. I'll go ahead and use this today after I do my lip scrub today. So this is the first one. It's like a mixture of like a purple glitter and a bright pink and then this one is in the shade cupcake this one is like a white clearish color i'm assuming and this is in the shade princess look at all the pretty glitter inside of there hope this is focusing so cute and like i said everything was from angela addy i will be putting all of the social media handles and stuff on the screen make sure y'all go um follow them show them some love and girl you are definitely doing a thing keep it up i appreciate you so much for sending me your things again to talk about here on my channel thank you and the next package is from latrice luxury boutique i can say that's wrong like i said it's already open y'all and this is the letter she sent it says first of all let me start by saying shani you are my everything i'm one of your subscribers on youtube Sharnita Latrice, you inspire me in so many ways, and I can't wait for my business to reach the level you are at. All of your subscribers can use code SHANI at checkout to get 30% off their first purchase. I really appreciate you giving me this opportunity. Thanks for the support. Love you lots. Sharnita, owner of Latrice Luxury Boutique. So thank you so much, Latrice, for sending me your things to talk about here on my channel. I absolutely appreciate you, girl. Um, I love that y'all look at me like I'm one of the big dogs, and I'm really not, like... I don't feel like I've reached that yet, but I'm working on it, okay? So, 
The um, first product in there was this cute little bag, which I'm going to use. On my trip, I want to secure some of my things in this bag. And she sent me another edge brush. And I haven't used any of these products yet, y'all, because I really wanted to show these on the freaking YouTube channel first. And this is, I believe, a body scrub. So that's what that looks like. Mm. Oh, it smells so fruity and nice. So that is that body scrub. First of all, when I seen this, the first I said, oh, she sent me like a whole rainbow of lip glosses. It's literally like a whole freaking rainbow. It's like a whole rainbow. So you got your pink with your cute glitter in it. All of her glosses has her logo on it. You got your red color. You got your green. You got your blue. And you got like an orangey yellowish color. And I'm assuming all of these are probably clear on the lips. And they look so good. And y'all, they smelled good too. I remember opening these. I want to smell one again. Yes. Oh, uh, that smells so freaking good. So these were the lip glosses she sent. Literally the whole rainbow. This is the pair of lashes she sent me in the style Unicorn. That's what that looks like. She also sent me a eyelash tweezer, again, in my favorite color, turquoise. And she sent me a little pom-pom that's going to go on my keychain for sure. And this is her business cards. Again, like I said, make sure y'all go follow these businesses and show them some love. Thank you so much, Sharnita Latrice, for sending me your items to talk about here on my channel. Your stuff looks good, honey. It looks good. Okay, so this is from Blazing Minx. And that is what the card looks like. It looks like a credit card. So freaking cute. Look at the back, y'all. The back is even prettier. So you can see. So cute. So it was sent in this box right here. And these were the things that was in it. First of all, we're going to go ahead into this black mesh bag. And she sent me a lip oil from RK by Kiss. You guys know you can go pick those up in the beauty supply store. It's so freaking colorful. So cute. And that is what it looks like. Um, so I got to figure out if this is the eyeliner pen or is this the actual glue? But look, okay, this this is what had me, okay, when I first opened this. Look at her packaging. Okay, so cute. They're plastic cases, and they have her logo on the front of them. Oh, everything. Okay, honey. And this is the first style she sent me. My nails, y'all. I am taking them off today. And then this is the second style. Ooh. There you go. That is what the styles look like. So freaking cute. This looks so flirty. Again, love the packaging. These are nice. These are perfect traveling cases. Oh, and she sent me some glasses that was in this bubble wrap, right? Look at these glasses. Look at them. I'm so mad I got the mask on. I couldn't even show y'all right now. But I'm just going to put them on just a little bit so y'all can see. Look at the glasses, honey. Okay, hold on. Don't freaking play. These are so cute. And they're like a red ombre to like a clear. Y'all can see that. It kind of looks orange on camera. But these are definitely red in person. But, girl, don't play with you. It's the packaging. I really love these. So, again, that was from Blazing Minks and Accessories, LLC. Again, I will leave the links to all of these girls' websites below in the description. Make sure y'all go over to the Instagram page, follow them, show them some love, and shop. I'm doing it so that more people are in the know of these other smaller businesses. And I want you guys to show them your support. Go shop. And so, what time is it? I'm actually late. I'm really late washing my, my face mask off. So let's go wash this off.
So the lip scrub that I used was from a business that sent me um, some things with, from my last small business promo haul. And it is her name, her business is called Sweet Deb's Lips. Absolutely love this lip scrub. I have been using it ever since. Um, she also sent me a lip oil, which I fell in love with, but now I can't find it. And I'm so sad. I cannot find this lip oil she sent me for nothing. Um, her name is Jamicio, by the way, but her name is called Sweet Deb's Lips, and that is the best lip oil I've ever had, but I just cannot find it. So, I'm really sad about that. I'm really sad about that, but it's okay, because I really would love to go in with her lip oil after using her lip scrub, but... I guess it is what it is. So I'm going to take the handy dandy Carmex and put some on after using my lip scrub. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put on some moisturizer on my face. Because I just used a few products that pretty much like dries out my face. And even though I'm oily, you still want to use a moisturizer for your face. And now my neck because we washed the neck too. I need to go ahead and soak these nails off so we can prepare for them to get done on Thursday. Okay, y'all, so I sat down, of course, like usual. I wanted to show y'all the business cards that I created yesterday using Canva. Um, I had a guy reach out to me asking if I can create his business cards. He is a barber, as you can see. You can pretty much get that from the card. This is the front of the card, and this is the back. And like I said, I created this right here in Canva. I'm thinking about creating a tutorial showing you guys how I create my business cards through Canva. I'm not sure. It's time to create a mock-up of the cards so that I can go ahead and post it on, um, on my social media. Because what I do is every time I go ahead and make some business cards... I post them onto my social media. That's how I attract more clients to create cards for. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this mock card really quick. You guys are pretty much gonna see me do that. So I'm vlogging my phone because I'm tired of my phone, I mean my camera, dying on me. But, so this is my suitcase so far. As you can see, like this is where all my shoes are and all of my bags. Um, I think the last two things that need to go in here are my two pair of tennis shoes that I'll be wearing while I'm on the trip. Um, I think this section is complete. All of my underwear, bras, sunglasses. I believe this section is complete. Um, and over here is all my clothes. As you can see, as you can see, Lord, as you can see, Shein is taking over my words now. <laughs> as you can see, I did some heavily shopping with Shein. Y'all already know I absolutely love Shein. Um, I was going to do a haul showing you guys my vacation clothes. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do that or not, but I did do all of my, um, Shopping for my vacation clothes at Shein. I do have a code with them. It is Shotney15 for 15% off or is it Shotney10? It's one of those I figured out put on the screen if you guys want to shop. But I literally have all my day outfits, all my night outfits. Um, the last thing I need to put in there, I believe, was just one more swimsuit, one more pair of leggings, and what was it? One more swimsuit, one more pair of leggings, all of my socks maybe another jacket so jewelry a pair of leggings a pair of sweatpants and another jacket and then i need my bag of all of my um personal things like two brush two paste blah, blah 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 and i need my two pair of shoes and i'm going to put all my personal stuff in this bag um until i find 
my uh until I find my bag, I usually put all my personal things in. The things that hangs up in the shower, but I can't find it. Also, I need to go ahead and store my camera into my book bag. So, I'm carrying a book bag as well. This bag will be checked, but I'm carrying a book bag as well. And I actually need to put this on my camera so my camera is covered. I'm bringing my laptop as well. I also ordered a mini tripod so I'll be able to take pictures um, by myself while I'm out there. So, I'm waiting on that. That don't get here until Friday. So, I believe that is all of that. I also need to pack up my makeup bag. So, makeup bag and personal bag needs to get packed and put in there as well. Hey, okay, y'all. So, this is the jewelry that I'm taking with me. So, as you can see, I have two necklaces, cross necklace and then a pendant necklace. I have this bracelet. Right here, I have my two rings. This first ring is from BLDX Monique. Um, I bought that from her. I actually bought a bracelet from her too. I'm thinking about adding a watch, but I'm not sure. I got to find it. I'm not sure where I put it. But I have two pair of earrings, just these bigger gold hoops and some smaller ones. These hoops, um, this bracelet and this chain is all from Annalisa. This is all the journey I'm going to take with me. And Annalisa also sent me like these cute little pouches that I can store my jewelry in for protection. And that's where I'm going to put all the jury in. So that's the jury. Okay, so some of this is actually my everyday jury. So I feel like I'm going to be going in and out of this. Um, probably not for tomorrow while I'm getting my hair done, but more than likely on Wednesday and Saturday. Um, maybe even Sunday on my way to the airport. So I'm going to probably put this into my carry-on bag, which is my book bag. But for now, I do, like I said, I'm just, I'm packing everything up. I'm trying to visualize everything. So I'm going to go ahead and slip that in there for now so that I know it's there. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and I believe that's all I could throw in here for now. So like I said, there's a few more things I need to find. I need to find another pair of leggings. I need to find sweatpants that goes in one of my outfits because the pair I got from Shein did not fit. And then I need to put in the two pairs of tennis shoes in there. And another swimsuit. So, I need to go ahead and get on that. And I just realized I don't have my glasses on. I can't see for shit. So, that's why I'm blind right now. But, yeah. Let me go ahead and find the rest of that stuff. And continue packing the suitcase. Okay, y'all. So, today is Wednesday. Um, November 10th. I see Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, today is Wednesday. November 10th. So right now I'm basically preparing me and my girls to go into my hometown so we can no, then go friend house. Cause I get my hair done today and then my girls get their hair done tomorrow. <laughs> we go to my so friend house. We are all dressed. We are all dressed. Yeah. Well, period. Period. Look at my shoes. Hey, red. My shoes look cute. Yeah. My shoes look <laughs> so, okay, go back in the room, baby. Okay. Okay, so like I said, we are all dressed and ready to go. Um, I washed my hair and blew it out earlier, y'all. My ends is really bad and need to be cut, and that's why they look like that. I also had it in a little ponytail, so um, that could be why they look like that. But I'm just about to throw it into a higher ponytail. So I can wrap my scarf around it. Put in like a bun or something so I can wrap my scarf around it. Um, I'm going to ask to see if maybe she can like flat iron my edges in the back of my hair a little bit. Before she braid it up so that it don't look rough. Y'all and I'm originally relaxed but I have not had a relaxer in almost two years. So this is literally my natural state with like some really bad ends. So I think I need like a couple inches cut off the ends of my hair and then my hair will look really healthy. So right now it doesn't look as good because of the ends, but we're going to get it together, child. We're going to get it together. We get it together. Girl, get out. <laughs> Bye. We need to find our jacket so we can go. No, I'm going to go we need to find our jackets. Girl, find your jacket. Nope, you find it. It's in my closet in my room. It's in your closet? Yeah, in my closet in my room. Okay. Go right. get it.
bacon. <laughs> okay, I'll come get it. Shape, so I spent the last 72 hours emotionally blowing the director just trying to get her look on fire. Well, what have you been doing about the tummy stuff? Ashenta? Good. But she says it's a pitta imbalance. Of course. Yeah, but she refuses to do blood cleanse. Because it tastes like fresh anus. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait to see it with the little jewelry pieces in there. Oh my god. Oh, that's gonna be cute. And I want the hanging cross ones in the front or the leaf ones. Oh, well, I can take it out, though. Have you tried going to the doctor? Cute. Western medicine doctor? Take it off. I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone has their own life, right? I'm trying to keep all oh, my rubber bands from biting my hand. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. Why do I fix this? Can we just tell us? Okay. We didn't accidentally run into you guys. We blinded. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought you would never ask. Um, it's not pulling on the edges. No. Mm -mm. And just like that, I'm part of the tribe. Because it's the blonde for me. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, my hair is done. This is what it's giving. Shut up. It's so cute with the blonde in the back. So if I put it up, you see all the blonde. Okay, yes, that's giving. So I had this style before, but I had it way shorter. I'm going to leave um, the video or a picture of the short version of this hair. So I had on the screen so y'all can see. But I wanted something longer. And I'm surprised I didn't get nothing down to my butt. Because I usually like hair down to my butt. But it's long. It's flirty. It's cute. And it's the little details for me. Like the little the crosses, the little seashells or whatever. That's cute. But yeah, this is the hair. We started at 4.30 and didn't get done until 1.30 in the morning. So, it took a little minute. And if y'all familiar, I'm at my mom's house. If y'all familiar with this bathroom. I'm at my mom's house. And... <laughs> You're so awkward. This is my sister. This, this is my sister. My 10-year-old sister. Wanted to be in the vlog so bad, but I wanted to come show y'all the hair. Whatever. So I wanted to come show y'all the hair because I didn't finish the vlog late last night. Like I said, I, I was starting to get sleepy, y'all. I was starting to get sleepy, and I didn't finish the vlog. So y'all get just a, a few clips from last night. But yeah, this is what the hair is giving. She did her thing as usual. I always go to her. And if y'all are in the Rockford. Freeport, Loves Park, Mutesney Park area in Illinois. Her name is Asia Lake on Facebook or what's what's her Instagram name? She got an Instagram too. I'm going to leave her Instagram name at the bottom of the screen. So if you are in my hometown and you want to get your hair done, make sure y'all hit up Asia. She is definitely fire at what she do. Literally, I think all my hairstyles this year, she's done it. So she's been the only one that has touched my hair. <laughs> she has been the only one that has touched my hair all year so yes make sure y'all hit her up but thank you so much girl you did your thing and uh, i can't wait we just one step closer to la <laughs> okay so i need to do my nails today i need to do my toes today and then my girls go to get their hairs done their hair done today too and then we have friday so again if i didn't say it today is thursday November, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, November 11th, so, almost ready, we almost there, y'all, we almost there, but I will see y'all later when I'm back at home, and I'll see y'all later when I'm back at home, and getting ready to do my nails and toes, so I'm gonna take y'all along with that too, peace. Oh, the little baby. What, Granny? Granny Diane? Granny Ann. You finna get some money? TV's territory. Check us out. Don't be shouting your whack all YouTube on my channel. I'm finna edit that out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the screen, too. Yeah, we.
Leave him alone. Oh, you better oh, oh, I bought these and I, I bought these the day before I went to South Carolina. Absolutely silly. Oh. I got them dirty oh, in South Carolina, my first time wearing them. Oh yeah, you tripping. I played football in them. <laughs> He's over there straight up talking to you. <laughs> He's talking. Find them, girl. They ain't upstairs. That's the old voice. The voice Cause they funny. Y'all, what the fuck? They upstairs. She was looking for her YouTube channel. You met her, right? She's looking for she baby Eric and Ernie. That's, I mean, Ernie right here. here. Baby Eric upstairs. Guy. That's the voice I thought I had yeah. outside was Guy. Oh, what the fuck is going to get to? <laughs> Girl! <laughs> they got a fight with baby Eric. I don't know what you're talking about. Try it out. No, this is serious now, y'all. Misha, you need to go check, man. Because that ain't no joke now, for real, for real. You go find your kid. I hear Ty yelling. Yeah, that be one less gone. Like don't get no more wine. I said, well, that be one less gone. You got issues, bro. Like, <laughs> the woman got issues. <laughs> you know what? I can't stand oh, your mama. Your mama uh -oh, uh -oh. got my damn nerve. What? I guess I'm your daddy. Where Eric at? Yeah, get one. <laughs> <laughs> she recorded. She recorded all the time. You're so I'm trying to hide your face now. She called you. She's so ugly. <laughs> She's so ugly. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it is not morning time, girl. I got my hair done. What y'all didn't get to see yesterday was that the girls went and got their hair done after we left my mom's house. We left my mom's house like around 4.30, 5 o'clock. By the time they finished getting their hair done, it was late. I think we didn't get home till like maybe 12 o'clock. I was so tired, y'all. I didn't even feel like picking up this camera or this phone again to vlog the rest of the night. I came home, put them in bed, took a shower, and I went to bed. So that's what happened last night. I packed up their bag already for while I'm gone. I packed up their bag as well. So I got this package from Amazon. It came with one of these little clickers. It came with the little holder that you can put your phone in. And this is a tripod. So I'm not even going to unbox this completely. I'm going to go ahead and put this right into my suitcase. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get started on these nails and these toes. And then I'm pretty much going to be set and ready for this vacation not only just a vacation but the weekend in total because today is only friday november 12th but i'm leaving to go back to my hometown and once i'm gone i'm gone i'm not coming back home until thursday of next week so i'm pretty much preparing for me and the kids to be gone for almost a week so yeah let's go ahead and get started so right quick i just want to show y'all the stuff that i was going to use to do my nails and toes um it's not much I pretty much have like a huge collection of nail stuff to do my nails and toes all the time, every time if I wanted to. But I pretty much just picked out the things I'm going to use to do my nails and toes this time. So pretty much this is all my pedicure and manicure stuff sitting right here in your face. There may be a couple things I'm missing. I know I'm missing a cuticle pusher and the nail polish for my nails. So I still have to go over there and figure out which nail polish I want for my nails. But I know for my feet. Pink. I'm using Pink. Kiara Sky's um, Pure White color yeah. base. But as you can see, y'all pretty much have everything. I always use the Jelly Nail Kit from Kiara Sky to do my nails. It is a quick and efficient way, as well as it also looks like I went into the salon and got them professionally done. So, my hair pretty. Your hair pretty too. Yeah, well, it's look at my hair. You got a glob of product right there. We'll look at my hair, guys. Ooh, my hair look pretty too. My hair's got glow on it. Come on, me. Leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come on, me. Fly you out to Greece. Full speed, so for the belly. Come on, me. Leave all of your things, yeah. 
November 13th, one day before my trip. Say hi. Hi. I'm here at the Walgreens to take a COVID test so that I can get the negative results because LA just put, I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay. So like I was saying, I'm here at Walgreens to take a COVID test so I can get the negative results. Because LA now has a C-19 um, mandation to where in order to enter gyms, restaurants, um, venues, bars, you have to have your vaccination card or you have to have your negative C-19 results no longer from 72 hours of the date that you are trying to enter the facility. So I'm here to get mine done. I leave early in the morning around 3, 3 a.m. to get on the road to Chicago to catch my flight. And um, I needed to get this done prior to me getting on the flight. This is a 24 hour um, results turnaround so that I have it by the time, you know, I get there and want to move around and do stuff. Walgreens has it to where you can schedule, you can schedule your test to come in, but you don't come in, you stay in the drive-thru. So you come. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, thank you. Was that good? Mm -hmm. This way? Mama. 
All righty, thank you. So like I said, I need I need the uh, the negative test results so that I'm able to do things while I'm in town. Otherwise, I won't be able to do anything. I won't be able to go anywhere. And that's just not ideal. When you're out of town and when you're on vacation, you want to experience everything while you're there. So I just wanted to make sure, you know, I just wanted to make sure I'd be able to go out and, you know, um, really enjoy myself so yeah i had to take care of that early uh, so in my last clip i was doing my nails right y'all <laughs> why i call myself going out with my friends last night right had a ball we had a ball i was on some ratchet stuff i guess i must have been on some ratchet stuff i tried to climb on the hood of my friend's car and in the midst of climbing, I broke. <laughs> oh man! In the midst of climbing on the car, I broke my nail. <laughs> Can you say pissed? Because I just did these damn nails, mm -hmm. and I broke one. I broke a nail, so I gotta go back home today to fix that because <laughs> I've already broken it out. But, baby, we in line right now. Mama, Darfry's house open. Please. We're not going inside. Y'all probably looking at me like, girl, you got this big ass coat on. Girl, y'all, okay? I live in Illinois. It is so freaking cold right now in Illinois. It makes no sense. It is only 38 degrees right now in Illinois. Last night, it was so freaking cold. It was so cold. It was like low 30s. So, we are now in that weather in Illinois to where it's freezing. Not only that, yesterday, it freaking snowed, y'all. It snowed for the first time yesterday. It didn't stick, but it snowed. So, yeah, we have snow already. So, when I tell y'all I am more than ready to get my ass to L.A. and have some fun in the sun, I am more than ready. But we just, we in the McDonald's drive through because I'm about to go ahead and get the girls some breakfast. I really want like some Dunkin' Donuts or something. So I'm going to go a step further and get some Dunkin' somewhere. The girls see the big yellow M and they want breakfast and they, they want something from it. So I stopped here to get them some breakfast and then I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get mine. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all about my night and what's going on right now. Um, today, my girls get dropped off to their dad and then um, I go back home, put my suitcase in my car. I'm going to clean up a little and then... um. I need to be asleep tonight, like at least around six or seven o'clock to get a little rest because I have to leave, like I said, I have to leave from my hometown at three in the morning to um to go catch my flight to Chicago. Can I please get the sourdough breakfast sandwich? One glazed donut. And I'm also gonna do a order of hash browns as well. Thank you. Right. Hey, I need to move for my mama for What is that? Um. Mom, look at my nose. It's really hurt. Ooh, they got watermelon in here. Huh? Who brought a water in here? Oh, David. They got watermelon in Look. Watermelon wine? Come on. Why is that What? That's why I I want to taste it. No, 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 no. That's disgusting. We finna sip on that tonight. No. We need to make frozen um a uh, soup. Frozen soup? Yeah, frozen soup. Frozen. I need to put in the oven, in the barbell oven. Hey, why are you doing it right there? Uh, it is only 9.55 a.m. 9.55 a.m. And I already got my COVID results. I just had my appointment at 9.30. What? I had negative COVID results. So now that I have my results, I'm going to go to L.A. and I'm going to act a whole fool. I'm going to have to ask. I'm going to act the ass. I cannot wait. But I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that like Walmart was 
Walmart. Walgreens was so fast with that, it, it wasn't even an hour Daddy. and they had the results. So it's a negative for me, honey. So okay, y'all, it's future me. So I didn't want to leave you guys hanging from the last time you guys see me here on camera, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I did end up going to get my brows done. And the lady ended up burning me really bad right underneath my right brow. You can't even tell right now, but she literally burnt me so bad that throughout the entire vlog of me while I was on my trip, you can see a burn mark right underneath my brow. And to be honest, um, because of that happening, I pretty much didn't want to pick up the camera again. So I didn't. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and just not come close out the vlog at all. So I wanted to come tell you guys about that. Um, but I literally, if you guys are wondering, I literally vlogged the entire trip. So you guys will be seeing that on my channel here, maybe two or three days after this vlog goes live. So yes, um, that, that whole trip will be coming up very soon. Um, I didn't let the whole brow thing ruin my trip. I still went and had a ball. I had a really good time. So I just wanted to go come on here and let you guys know, you know, what had happened and why I didn't pick up the camera again. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss another one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.